let's understand the first topic that is what are the various pricing objectives that a firm has primarily being four of them first profitability objectives second volume objectives third meeting competition objectives and fourth as prestige objective let's understand each of this in further detail the first being the profitability objective profitability objectives include profit maximization and target return goals it presumes that firms will behave rationally which will result in an effort to maximize gains and minimize losses profits are a function of revenue and expenses the simple formula being profits equals to revenue minus the expenses and revenue is determined by a product selling price multiplied with the number of units sold that is total revenue equals to the price multiplied by the quantity sold a profit maximizing price hence rises to the point at which further increase will cause disproportionate decrease in the number of units sold and profit maximization is identified as the point at which the addition to the total revenue is just balanced by the increase in the total cost the second objective being the volume objective many marketers argue that pricing behavior actually seeks to maximize the sales within a given profit constraint they set a minimum acceptable profit level and then seek to maximize the sales in the belief that the increased sales are more important than immediate high profits in the long run competitive situation another volume related objective is that the market share objective sets a goal to control a portion of the market for a firm's good or service the company specific goal may target maintaining its present share of a particular market or increasing its share the third being meeting competition objectives these kind of objectives de-emphasize the price element of the marketing mix and focus way more on the competitive rivalries more strongly on the non-price variables Pricing is a highly visible component of a firm's marketing mix and an an easy and effective tool for obtaining a differential advantage over competitors though other firms can easily duplicate a price reduction themselves because such price changes directly affect the overall profitability in an industry many firms attempt to promote stable prices by meeting competitors prices and competing for market share by focusing on product strategies promotional decisions and distribution that is the non price element of the pricing mix or the marketing mix and finally the fourth objective being the prestige objective the final category of pricing objectives unrelated to either profitability or sales volume encompasses the prestige objectives prestige pricing establishes a relatively high price to develop and maintain an image of quality and exclusiveness that appeals to the status conscious consumers such objectives reflect marketers recognition of the role of price in creating an overall image for the firm and its goods and services here we are talking about more of class marketing rather than mass marketing wherein our buyers or our consumers would be few but the premium that they would pay would compensate for the overall pricing and the profitability of the firm